Click on the link under the video to download the free written pattern for both versions. Okay, to make this herringbone hat, you're going to need size 6 super bulky yarn, size 50 straight needles, some scissors, and a tapestry needle. And this is what it's going to kind of look like. So, let's get started. Okay, so you are going to cast on 28. So we make a slip knot. And then tighten it on my needle. Make sure that your tail is in the front. And then we cast on. If you need more help on how to cast on, how to hold the yarn, and how to see it slower, click here on this video. Now for row one, it's our wrong side. All the odd rows are going to be on the wrong side, the ugly side. So what we're going to do is we purl two together. So we go from the back to the front on our first two stitches. Then we're going to leave them on the needle. And then we purl our first stitch. And then we slide those off. And then you just keep doing that. So we purl two together. Leave them on the needle. Purl the first stitch. And then pull both of those off. We do this all the way to the end of the row. Row two and all even rows are going to be the right side, the pretty side. We knit our first stitch and then we slip the next stitch knit wise so we don't knit it. We just slip it off our left needle onto our right needle and then we knit one and we're going to pass our slip stitch over that stitch but we don't pull it off we actually are going to knit it and then that creates that little slash and so we repeat what's in the asterisk we slip one knit wise and then we knit one. We bring our past slip stitch over, back on our right needle, bring your yarn around, and knit it off. Slip, and knit. And then our last stitch, we are going to knit. Let's do it one more time. We slip. We knit. We grab our slip stitch, pass it over, put it back, bring our yarn around to knit. And that's how we do row two. Repeat rows one and two, and you're going to end on row 13. Now for our decrease row, row 14, we are going to knit two together all the way to the end of the row. Knit those two together. And you will have 14 stitches at the end.
Okay, after you've done that, so we are going to need to have a long enough strand to sew these ends together and to go through all of these stitches. So kind of how I figure out how much is from there because then that's going to tighten so you know that that's going to be more and that will be enough to weave in the ends. And then when you're going to sew the sides, I would do almost triple the amount. It's better to have more than not have enough. What we're going to do first, this might seem scary, but we're just going to slide all these stitches off. And then, with your yarn, you're going to go through all of them. Make sure you don't miss any of your stitches. Okay, so it looks like that, and we're going to tighten it. Now, we can sew the sides together. So this is how I like to sew my ends together, and you can't even tell that there's a seam. So I look for, let me just start here, I look for the bar that goes back and forth. We're going to go through that. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then find the next one right there. And then this one. Okay, all the way to the end. Okay, so this is what mine looks like. And then you're just going to want to weave your ends. So I just tie a knot and then I go through these stitches to hide it so that it doesn't come out. I hope you had fun and enjoyed watching this video. If you did and you want to make something else with me, then here are some options. Or you can go to my page and look at all of my other videos. You can also subscribe so you never miss one of my tutorials.